up guys, Derek here. So I saw a video of a guy singing a song called Mix em with Whiskey by Larry Lee. Some things just go better when you mix them with whiskey. I've never heard any songs from this guy, but I thought it was a really interesting song. I really like this guy's voice and just the whole thing that he's got going on. So I thought it'd be a cool one to teach you guys. It's got some cool picking and uh, I could see the song getting pretty big too. So I hope it does well. But uh, yeah, so let's jump into the lesson. To play this song, guys, you will be in uh, half step down tuning. The song is in the key of G flat, 75 beats per minute. And there's actually only three chords in the song. Those three chords are a G, an E minor seven, and a C add nine. Now in the acoustic video that I saw him playing this in, he does some bar chords for the G and C, but to keep this a little beginner friendly, I'm not going to play it like that. And to be honest, it'll sound the same for the most part if you play just the normal G and C down on the third fret. So the song starts out on the first verse. The chord progression is just gonna go from G to C. And the strumming pattern that I kinda do uses some muting, so it's gonna sound uh, something like this. So what I'm doing there is I'm just going down, down, up, mute, down, down, up, mute, down, down, up, down, down, up, mute, down, down, up, mute, down, down, up. A little faster, that sounds like this. So if you add words to that, the verse kind of sounds something like, a smoky bar on the wrong side of town. A scratch of vinyl, 45 spin round. In a glass window, splash some snow from Tennessee. So that's how you play it up to that part, and then when he goes, Some things just go better when you mix them with whiskey. So on that part, you do a little picking. If you wanted to simplify the strumming pattern for that part too, and not do the muting, you could just do like a down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So, a smoky bar. On the wrong side of town I scratched the final 45 spin round So you could do that too. Mostly throughout the song when he says uh, when you mix them with whiskey, he does this little picking pattern. Some things just go better when you mix them with whiskey. And what I'm doing there is I'm just hammering on to the fifth string of the second fret with my pointer finger. So then I'm going hammering, or uh, sorry, picking the fourth string open, and then hammering on again. So hammer on the fifth, four open, hammer on to the four, the fourth string now, second fret. And this is all in the second fret. So once you do the hammer on to the fourth string. You play the third string open, hammer onto the fourth string again, hammer onto the fifth string again, C, and then G. That might be a little quick, but really slow, it sounds like this. So then you are into the chorus, and the chorus uses the chord progression of G, E minor, and then to the C. And the strumming pattern will sound something like this. So what I'm doing there is I'm just going down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down. So with words, it's gonna sound uh, something like this. A little burning, such a bad, bad thing. A little little. Let it be. 
One thing he does too, right before on that G chord, he just hammers on to the third string of the second fret. Once you come out of that C. So you could do that as well. And then you play that all the way up until the when things just go better when you mix them with whiskey. I guess some things just go better when you mix them with whiskey. So the chorus all together with words is gonna sound something like this. A little bunny, such a baby thing. A little little baby little. And then you are into the second verse. And the second verse, instead of staying on the G and C, it adds the E minor into it. It's gonna sound something like this with the strumming pattern. So basically you're using the same strumming pattern as the chorus except now you're just into the verse and singing the verse lyrics. And actually on the end of that verse when he does the song, he actually just keeps uh, strumming that. He doesn't do the picking pattern until the chorus. So in the first verse you did do that picking pattern. He does that picking pattern in the first verse, the first chorus, and the second chorus. But not the second verse. So the only other part of this song guys is then the bridge. So the part where he goes mix them with mix them with mix them with whiskey mix them with mix them with mix them with whiskey so that part is the same you're just going g e minor to c and you're doing a very similar strumming pattern so for me i'm doing that muted pattern so i'm going down down up down down up you down down up down down up you down down up you But you could just do like a mix them with, mix them with, mix them with whiskey. So I'm just going down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down. Mix them with, mix them with, mix them with whiskey. And then that leads you into the final chorus. I'm sorry if it got a little dark here, guys. I'm just using window light, and I think the rain is coming in right now. So I apologize if it's a little dark. Wasn't expecting that to happen. But basically, the, the third chorus is the same as the first two choruses. So you would do that same strumming pattern and then that picking on uh, where it goes, some things just go better with whiskey. So yeah, that's how you play uh, the entire song. I hope it was helpful. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.